Are you thinking about getting a degree in GIS or maybe you've been looking through your course catalog trying to decide what to major in and you've stumbled across this thing called GIS and you're thinking, well, maybe I should get a degree in it. Today, I want to help you think about that decision and help you decide should you get a degree in GIS. So the first thing you're going to need to do, and this can be something that you do with an advisor or something that you do by looking in your course catalog, which you definitely want to have wherever you're going to school, define what they mean by GIS. Some places define GIS as Geographic Information Science. Others define it as Geographic Information Systems. And those can be two wildly different things with wildly different areas and emphasis in study. This differentiation between the two can also help you decide what kind of degree you'll be getting. Be aware that at many universities, GIS actually lands in different fields. Some universities put it as part of their STEM education where you're studying alongside environmental science, civil engineers in that world. And others put it in the humanities where you might study cartography or geography. So you have to really consider where you're getting your degree from and what your degree is going to be in. And that starts by defining and learning what your university defines GIS as. The second thing you need to ask yourself is, is the GIS field right for me? And that depends on you. If you're curious about tech, making maps, visualizations, even just flying drones around, every school that has a GIS program always brings a drone out and says, this is what you're gonna do every day. And some places you do fight really hard for an internship like that because they're fun. If you're looking for GIS as means to career, say in a different field, like say you have a passion for marine biology or forestry, and you're saying, well, perhaps I could branch out for from studying and making maps and visualizations and terrain data and get into forestry, keep that in mind as you pursue your degree. You're going to need to be able to take electives that align with what you're doing. You'll need to participate in extracurricular activities or be involved in clubs or do research that aligns with those final end goals. So be sure you know why you want to study GIS before you actually get into the degree. And finally, my big thing with GIS a lot of the times is make sure that you aren't getting a glorified software certification. What I mean by this is that a lot of times when people think they're studying GIS, what they're really doing is just getting good at ArcMap. And that can be good in the first couple years of your job where you're saying, well, they just need a basic GIS analyst, someone to come and plug pipelines in or to manage parcels in a city county database, good. But at the end of the day, you have to make sure that that is not as far as your knowledge goes. And for unfortunately, for a large majority of schools, if you take it in the courses at their base level and just get a passing grade, basically what you'll end up with at the end is a degree in how to use a software, which is the same as saying, should I go to school to learn how to use Photoshop? when you're trying to become a photographer. A final thought, if you have something that you like, pursue that and know that you can always come back and add GIS on top of those things. So if you have a passion for geography, if you have a passion for learning Spanish, if you have a passion for history and say, well, not really gonna be able to leverage this, try and see if there are ways to leverage the two together. More often than not, you will find opportunities because GIS is becoming so involved within research, within data. You find it in so many different areas. If you go into computer science, you're going to find applications for mapping, for data analytics. If you go into mathematics, there's statistics, there are GIS applications there. If you go into engineering, civil engineering, mechanical engineering, there are applications everywhere. Take those interests that you already have, bring them together and tie them into something that's unique in your own. And that's the beauty of a college education. If you can go that route and if you have that opportunity, take the chance to learn as much as you can about so many different topics and expand your horizons and then bring that together. What I would encourage you to never get a degree in is in how to use a software or how to use tools. You can learn that from a book, you can learn that from an online course. YouTube is great for that. Many of you have found me and I've found many of you by trying to solve problems on my own time.
and that's what you need to be doing. What do you think? Have you got a degree in GIS or maybe you're working through yours? Feel free to leave a comment. So once again, thank you for watching. If you enjoy the content on this channel and these questions are helping you out, make sure to like and subscribe. I'll have some more tutorials coming up and stay tuned because we're actually going to be having a live stream coming up here pretty soon where I'm going to go over a few maps and some questions that I get a lot. Be sure you subscribe so that way you can get the notification when we do go live. And if you have a question, something that I can answer, something that I can bring you more value for on this channel, I definitely want to be able to help you out. So once again, thanks for watching.